So, that wine you made a while ago is now complete. It's clear and aged and ready to be bottled. And the question is, what kind of bottle should you use? And does it matter? Bottles come in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. Does the bottle you choose now have any influence on the taste of your wine in the future? Should a specific type of bottle always be paired to a specific type of wine? In this video, we'll look at the design features of three common wine bottle types and discuss why they have those features. We'll also look at some quirky design features from the past that persist to this day, even though they may not be necessary. And in the end, we'll decide whether or not the bottle you choose has any effect on the preservation and future enjoyment of your wine. The answer may surprise you. Drop the device. Get away from that keyboard. Step outside. Into Shred World. It didn't take long for early winemakers to discover that wine spoils when exposed to air. So containers were developed, not only with closures, but also with narrow necks to limit air exposure. When glass began to be used, they followed this pattern. And by the early 1800s, glass wine bottles began to resemble those that we use today. This is a burgundy bottle. It has sloping shoulders and a narrow neck. This is a Bordeaux bottle. It has parallel sides, shoulders, and the same narrow neck. And this is an Alsace bottle. It has sloping shoulders, narrow neck, but is taller and thinner than the other two. While these three bottles have different profiles, they all hold the same amount of wine. It's thought that burgundy bottles have sloping shoulders because it was easy for early glass blowers to copy that shape. The prominent shoulders of Bordeaux bottles were thought to stop sediment when pouring reds. And Alsace or Hawk bottles were narrower and taller because they took up less space on river boats. Champagne bottles are made in the burgundy style, but the glass is thicker and they include a wire closure. Port bottles are like Bordeaux bottles, except they often have a bulb in the neck to collect sediment when pouring. Bottles come in clear glass and colored glass. The colors keep light from damaging the wine. Chianti bottles with the characteristic basket were developed in the burgundy style. The basket protects the bottle during shipping and helps it to sit upright. Today, bottles come in a variety of sizes and also have different closure systems, screw top, corks, and latch. Let's look at those quirky features. Why are standard wine bottles 750 milliliters instead of, say, a liter or any other volume? It's thought that that's the average exhalation volume of human lung. So most glass blowers could puff out a bottle of this size. Now it's a traditional size that endures to this day. Why is there a depression or punt in the bottom of wine bottles made today. Some people believe it was made to collect sediment, like the prominent shoulders on Bordeaux bottles. And others believe it was made so that the bottle could stand up. Bottles can now be commercially made with flat bottoms. They have no problem standing, but the punt persists. It's a tradition. Does the Cabernet in the punted bottle taste better than the one in the flat bottom bottle? If it does, it's not because of the punt. Does Chianti taste better if it comes from a bottle with a fiasco, a basket? No, it's tradition. Does a larger size bottle of the same wine taste better than the smaller size? No, it's a matter of convenience. 
we tested whether or not punts and shoulders actually collect sediment. They do, but not any better than burgundy bottles or flat bottom bottles. Maybe the bottle's shape makes it easier to handle or pour. We don't think so. That brings us back to this. We'll decide whether or not the bottle you choose has any effect on the preservation and future enjoyment of your wine. The answer may surprise you. Or not. That's such a cliche. The answer is yes and no. Any properly sealed bottle can protect your wine. The shape is a matter of tradition. You probably should use a colored bottle to preserve white wines. And if you'll be serving a lot of wine drinkers, a larger bottle may work best. Thanks for watching. There's additional information about wine bottles down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like by hitting the thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe?